For what purposes does Senior Senator from Chesterfield, Senator Chase, rise? Thank you, Mr. President. I rise to speak against this bill. Senator, that's the floor. Mr. President, I believe it is egregious to think that stripping law-abiding citizens of their constitutional freedoms and rights would protect us from the evil that surrounds us each and every day. This law emboldens the very criminals that we ourselves are trying to protect ourselves from. Each legislator that votes in favor of this bill, in my opinion, is a traitor to Virginia, a traitor to the Second Amendment, and a traitor to our constitutional freedoms. The very thought that any attorney or police officer can simply ask for an extreme risk order is simply dangerous and is a slap in the face of every law-abiding citizen. Let's just step back and think about this. For 14 days, a law-abiding citizen can be stripped of their constitutional right with no due process. This is simply egregious and contemptuous. How can one or two people decide someone's constitutional freedoms? Would it be okay not to have free speech for 14 days? Would it be okay for a government to house soldiers in your house for 14 days? Would it be okay for a rape victim to not be able to defend herself for 14 days because her gun was confiscated because her abuser used the red flag to claim she was mentally incompetent? This bill is rendering people helpless, Mr. President. Legislators who vote in favor of this bill are deemed traitors of the Commonwealth, and their vote will be posted on my page for all Virginians to see, keeping all those in the General Assembly accountable to we, the people. The Second Amendment is non-negotiable. What purpose does the Senator from Northern Fairfax, Senator Howe, rise? Uh, Mr. President, I rise uh, to ask the uh, senior senator from Chesterfield if she'd respond to a question. Will, will the senator yield for a question? Yes, Mr. President, I yield. Senator Yield, you have the floor. In advance to all of my friends and colleagues on the floor, I apologize for interrupting the train of thought of most of us. But my question is, has the senator read the rules of the Senate? Senator, has the floor. Thank you, Mr. President. I have received a copy of the rules of the Senate. I have not read them fully. Further question? Yes, Mr. President. I would refer her to uh, item number 41 about speaking offense to members of the Senate. And I would like her to know that I am deeply offended that she has accused anyone on this floor of treason. Now, I will not put in a written at this point because she indicates she doesn't know the rules of the Senate. But should in the future such words be said again, I will indeed. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you, Senator. Thank you, Mr. President. May I respond? Senator, has the floor. Mr. President, myself and the constituents that I serve are deeply concerned that many in this body have violated the very oath of office that they swore to uphold both the United States Constitution and the Virginia Constitution. And they believe that members of this body that vote on legislation that restricts their constitutionally protected rights are guilty of treason. That's, that's the way they feel. And that's my exercising my First Amendment right to protect my Second Amendment right. Thank you, Mr. President.